what up guys sorry usually on Mondays I have a video and I was trying I was so busy this weekend getting stuff moved and got this big ass tree um, finally got the car moved over to this house uh, I closed on my house on the 29th so there's some money coming so I can get um, this here engine machined I think tonight or tomorrow night we're officially pulling the head off and then from there you'll, you'll have a head video you'll have one getting the pistons out, the upper oil pan, um, maybe even the crank. I don't know how much I need to break down the block. I need to talk to machine people, see what all I need to bring, see how far I need to break it down. But I definitely want the pistons out. We're going to check out the head um, and all that. But right now, well, here's a pup date for anybody wondering. Little man's getting so big and he's learning things, aren't you, man? How about y'all sit? 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 Shake? Okay, okay, one at a time. Shake. Good boy. Sit. Apex. Sit. Sit. Shake. Shake. That's a good boy. Lay down. Lay down. You and your brother. I cannot do anything on camera. I, I swear, he normally does it. He knows the camera's out. Someone's watching. Sit. Sit. You're a punk. You're so cute. He's getting so big. He's over 30 pounds now. It's just a big one, aren't you? Aren't you? Anyway, we got a box from Shop Dap. Let's open it. Ooh, and actually, we have another box here too. I'm gonna show you guys, but uh, that's a good one. All right, like I said, this is a rebuild kit from Shop Dap. I'm not sure if there's anything extra in there or what. Um, yeah, so the rebuild kit, it's pretty much all the gaskets, all the bolts, lower timing cover, timing chains, guides, um, injector seals, um, some coolant that I realized I didn't need when I was moving. I found an extra two bottles of coolant that was up in the thing. So uh, I'm going to open this after I change the battery. It's about to die. All right, let's open this thing. It's damn heavy, but I think that's because of the coolant, mostly. I'm not using my dumb little knife this time. Everybody keeps making fun of my little mini butcher. Big box. Holy moly. Jeez Louise. All right. Well, that's half the reason the box is so heavy. Two big bottles of coolant that I think are pre-mixed. Yeah, 50-50, ready to use. All right. Oh, there it is. should be a head gasket in here. All right, so this is the, the timing cover. I don't really want to take it all the way out of here, but sandwiched between some things. It's already got the seal in there, so that's great. And it's lubed up, so that is just awesome. But I kind of like bent this one when I was taking it off. That, that sealant that they use is really freaking strong. So that's that's great. Speaking of sealant, uh, this is... Uh, a lot of stuff. There's some sealant. There is plain sealant, black sealant, uh, V Sport. I'm going to crack all this stuff. Maybe that's the gear. I don't know. It doesn't feel heavy enough. But a bunch of bolts, hardware. This is this looks like the timing kit. Timing kit in general. This should be all timing stuff. So I have to see what's in there. Here we go. Brand new head gasket. Um, these are actually pretty thick from the factory. It looks like how many layers here we think? One, two, at least two, maybe three in there. Can't really tell. Yeah, it's at least at least three layers, so that's a nice moist gasket there, Mike. Um, what else we got? A whole other bag of well, seals, seals, bolts, um, more seals, more bolts. Some of this stuff I don't really even recognize. So. Now I was going through the list, and I'll put the link down below for you guys. I was going through the list, and I unchecked certain things. So there's the rebuild kit for the injectors. That's oil pan gasket. Bunch of O-rings. 
Then, all right, well, that's that. Oh, Lord. This is a pretty simple kit, and I have no idea what's in here, none. Uh, boxes within boxes. Oh, thermostat water pump. Jeez, I forgot how big this thing really is. So, and a brand new water pump slash thermostat housing. Nice and clean, free of debris. Very nice. Oh, it's already got new new gaskets already put on it. Darn. This is nice to see a one all nice and cleaned up. Where does that belt connect to? Forget. Is this all of it? Because this will go. Goes like this on the block. Oh, I think I might have to like attach some of the old stuff because this isn't the full thing. Because the belt will connect over here on this side somewhere. But, uh... Imagine this is, might be where the belt is. Yeah, see, look. There you go. Belt. Nice. So, we'll put these back in the cover for now. And you can kind of see, this is the thermostat itself right here. It's got, I think, pretty neat. Pretty neat stuff. Alright, so, now for these boxes, we've got two decent sized boxes of some things that we can all enjoy together. Um, my boy up in Amarillo, Ooh. he has a little shirt business, well more than a shirt, he does screen printing, he does embroidering, does wrapping, um, all types of stuff, so if you're local to Amarillo or Lubbock or here in Clovis or anywhere around, I'll drop a link down there, uh, JD's Garage up in Amarillo, or actually it's like Canyon, but Amarillo, whatever, but finally, we got our shirts made. So the front isn't anything crazy, it's just like the other shirts I have, so you got film crew up front, you got Bryce Jordan Productions on the back, logo, street car and chill, this is Michael's design, shout out to Michael, my boy with the Evo, um, guess we'll try it on. Woo! Alright, check that out. You know, I'm not wearing anything that matches right now. I'm kind of still in my work clothes. This is a medium for me. I'm like 5'10". So, I thought the small ones look a little big, but this medium is perfect. I like this a lot, a lot. Let's see if we can spin the camera around here for y'all. It's a little street car and chill. So, with this, you're like, oh, film crew, well, I'm not filming nothing. Well, what I'd like to start doing here is, as I throw the camera away off, I'd like to like, um, cause like a lot of you guys out there do street racing, roll racing, you know, or even at the track or whatever. I'd like you guys to start sending me in clips to an email address. Then like obviously I'd like have your mods in there and stuff. And I could do like a weekly or bi-weekly like subscriber, um, like race, race video of like a combination of just like a bunch of different racing from people that watch the channel and I'll put like their Instagram and like their main couple of mods like on the screen. That way you guys are getting more followers and it's just like, just some content, you know, stuff stuff for people to watch and, and, and whatnot. So I think mean, that'd be a cool idea. The shirts kind of go with that film crew. You're filming, you're racing, you're sending it in, put it on the channel or whatever. I can plug anybody else's channel. Like if you have a YouTube channel and you're doing racing, send me some clips and I'll put your channel down in there and your Instagram and your mod or whatever, however that works. You guys let me know what you think about that, but this will... These will be on sale, I'm hoping, like the week before Christmas. So basically like this weekend, I'll have these up on the website, ready to go. I have like a handful of people I'm gonna sell shirts to before it goes live on the site. They're gonna be 30 bucks. And uh, the site's gonna be BryceJordanProductions.com. Um, site's pretty much ready, uh, it's just not live yet. So I talked to my guy today about, you know, you can take pictures of these to put them up there and then, uh, We'll go from there, but stay, stay on the lookout for that. I'm super hyped, super excited. This is really going to help. If these sell, I get 105 shirts and take away the two for us. So I got like 103 that I can sell and that'll really help expedite this build. I need to get a shifter still, like a CAE shifter. I need to get 
Um, machine work done. I need to, what else? I need to get like clutch related hardware, like throw out bearing and uh, uh, what else down there? Bunch of random little things. I need to get a fluid amber pulley, um, possibly bigger injectors, maybe a bigger pump. But I mean, those, those ones can wait because they, they're easy to swap. I need to get a rear, rear main seal still. A handful of small things. I, I'm not even ready to rebuild, obviously. We still got to take the head off and stuff, like I said. But we're getting there. Hoping right at the beginning of the year I can get the motor over to the machine shop, however long that takes, and then we get it back and start putting everything together. So I'm hoping at the very end of January, beginning of February, the car will be up and running. We can go give it another alignment, get it on the scales, get a quarter balance, get it actually aligned and uh, start tuning. I'm still waiting on a damn carbon hatch. Hopefully that shows up sometime soon because that's a key part. I don't want to get the car corner balanced until that's on with Lexan, so yeah. Uh, so I need to get um, seat belts and a harness bar and a seat bracket for the Kirky seat and another seat for the passenger side. So there's still quite a bit of things that need to be bought. I'm pretty broke, so these should definitely help. All right, well, I'm done rambling, so let me know what you guys think. Like I said, sure should be on sale like next week or like about the week before Christmas sometime, and uh, we'll get you back to doing engine videos later this week. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip flop.